Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we have the best tech exploit. Now, I labeled this video, uh-oh, because we do have a little bit of an uh-oh situation here, and we're going to get into that. Um, but, first off, this is a Todd knife and tool design. I did buy this from Blade HQ. It's not a cheap knife. Uh, but let's get into it. So we have a titanium frame lock with this awesome, uh, I don't know the name of it, like a tiger pattern kind of finish. It is a beautiful anodized, flamed anodized titanium finish. I do really like that. I love the nice T8 hardware look. Nice, uh, you know, I, I like seeing good hardware good size hardware and quite a bit of it now the blade is s35 vm and it has a beautiful satin finish i really like this satin finish it looks so good now there's a bunch or i don't know about a bunch but there's a few different todd knife and tool designs from best tech and i've always wanted to get one i've always wanted to get one and i tried the roxy 3 and i loved it loved it so when I seen that this was available, I had to get it, um, you know, because I didn't get in on the Roxy 3, but I did get to try it thanks to Lefty EDC. Now, that one had a perfect detent, a perfect detent. So let's get into the little issue I'm having with this. Well, right out of the box, I already have oiled it. Right out of the box, I went to flip it, and it was like, like no detent. Like, I can... I can flick it, right? No problem. And the front flipper works great. The, I mean, the, the, you know, with a front flipper, you don't want a strong detent. And in this case, it's awesome, the front flipper. And I do like the jimping that they gave on this front flipper. <clears throat> they have, well, let me uh, back up a little bit. I don't like this jimping, but this jimping, the jimping that's actually on the part that you use for the front flipper, it's really nice. It's very grippy. It hangs up the perfect amount. Like it just, it works so good. So good. Now, this jimping right here where your finger lands is not bad, but this jimping, it's not that good. I don't know why they put this jimping here. It is very sharp. That that would just drive me nuts. I don't know why they, they did that. Now, um, I'm still happy with my purchase, by the way. I'm very happy with my purchase, and we're going to get into all that here in a second. But um, the detent, though, it's like, for a slow roll, it's great. And that's, that's, I mean, I might be very satisfied about this in a week or so. But I, I realized something, though. Check this out. Watch the detent. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the detent is right here, and you'll see it drop into the blade. It doesn't drop all the way in. Let me see if I can zoom in so you guys can see this because watch this. I'm going to squeeze it and it's going to drop in. Now it's dropped in. So I can actually force it into the hole, which actually makes the detent now pretty good. So maybe there's something stopping, maybe a burr. May, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they meant to do that. Now, the lock bar strength is not, like, really strong or anything. The lock bar strength is... it's It feels lighter. It does feel lighter, the lock bar tension. But not to the point to where I would think that it had a light detent. Um, so... That's why I wanted to check the detent ball. I was like, man, is the detent even dropping in place? Now, yes, I can still easily reverse flick it. Once you know the detent, kind of like any knife, you know, once you know the detent, you're good. Now, all day I've been carrying this guy, and this guy's got the best detent. I love the detent. I can even ring finger it. I love the detent on this one. It came nice and strong, and... It's just gotten better and better and better, and I love it. It feels so solid because it has a nice strong lock bar, so my it feels rock solid. I love the good access to the lock bar, nice and false shutty, even though it has a strong lock bar tension, and the detent is just rock solid. It feels very solid. The sound of it is really good, but this one... Once I flew in from that to grabbing this, it was like, oh man, like, oh man, <laughs> this detent is very light, but I can make it happen. You know, it's just once you know it, but 
I'm, I'm contemplating on whether or not I should just the detent or possibly take a look at this hole and see if I should fix that issue and make it drop in or if I should just deal with it and let it break in itself because I'll be, you know, like with a lot of knives that I've gotten, there's some times where I, I grab a knife and I'm like, ah, you know, this thing you know, kind of bothers me right now. But then after like a week, I wind up loving that detail. And that could be something like this, where it's like, man, I love the fact that I can easily slow roll it. Uh, the front flipping action's great. And now I know the detent. I know I just have to, you know, give it a little gas, you know, to, uh, to deploy with the reverse flick. Or I can adjust the detent and make it stronger, right? Or I can, you know, make it to where I have a nice solid detent, which could in return make the front flipper maybe not as enjoyable. I don't know. I won't know until I do that. It did come nice and centered, but watch this. I mean, <laughs> it is very easy to, uh, so I, I don't know. I, I'm contemplating on tuning the detent. Now, what do I mean by tuning the detent? What I would do is I would take it apart and I would flex the lock bar towards the stronger lockup and give it a little bit more tension. That little bit more tension would either drop that detent bolt into the hole, or it will at least give it more tension into the hole so that it has a stronger detent on the reverse flick, the thumb flick, and the front flip. This front flipper is fantastic, man. I do really like the front flipping action. Like It's nice and fun, nice and grippy. I love that the jimping grips your thumb. Um, the ergos are really good, aside from this jimping, really good. Love the blade shape. And that's another reason when I seen this, I was like, man, I think I'm going to like that. Because look at this. You can get some massive detail work done. And it's going to, at least now that I have it, I realize it's going to be good for popping straps. Push cuts are going to be nice and comfortable because this jimping doesn't really bother me right there. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing what I do with my knives, I actually made a video a while back at work called The Day in the Life of a Knife. I'm going to put a card right up here in the corner, and it's going to be basically some of what I do during the day with my knife. Now, obviously, it changes all the time, but it's just a day's worth of what I've done, what I did with my knife that particular day, and I followed myself around with a camera. So check out the card in the corner. And you got a nice, uh, you know, finger choil to to get nice and close to that edge. Um, the ergos are really good. Even back here, they have this nice ramp right there. And this jimping is not bad, so it's actually pretty effective. It actually works without being bad. The access to the lock bar is really good. It is very smooth on the drop. I can tell it's only going to get smoother. It does have a nice sound to it when it pops open, at least with the front flipper. Stop pin is a good size, good size, um, and it closes right here, so it closes in a good spot. It has a little bit of shouldering on the open, you know, part where it stops. The lockup feels very solid. No, a uh, little bit of play, a little bit of play. Yes, there is. Let's actually adjust that right now. This is from Merry Men Eat. What the heck is on there? Sorry, guys. Oh, uh, I was adjusting something with this one, and I left the tape on there. Um, but I'm just going to leave that on there. But anyways, this is from Merry Men EDC. Uh, very cool. It is a multi-tool, and it comes with bits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the T8, and I'm going to... What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I was going to adjust the pivot because it feels a little bit. Let's try that. Oh, yeah. That's solid now. Okay. Is it a little slower? Yeah, maybe a little bit slower, but that'll break in. You know what? I might have adjusted it a little too tight because it was barely. Let's try that. I have... So, oh, yeah, this is good now. Ah, bang, it's back. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Let's just leave it the way it is. I think that's good. Yeah. All right. There we go. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, but I have some... Yeah, this action is really good. The, um, the closing action. 
I have some Gillian bearings that could also help make this a little bit smoother, even though it's very smooth. So I'm not saying it's not smooth or anything, and this is going to break in really good. But I'm just contemplating on the detent thing. Do I want a stronger detent for the reverse flick? One thing I do really like too, um, I should have brought this up, the hole, where you flick it from, it has this area right here where when your finger's there, it has like a nice guided area where there's nothing in your way and it kind of just lets your finger go whoosh, right past it. I do like that. Like there's nothing in the way of reverse flicking it. Same thing with the, th the thumb flick. Let me feel. The thumb flick is pretty much the same. So I do like that quite a bit. But I just wanted to give you guys my first impressions on this. Yeah. You know, is the detent ball not falling in place? Did they intend to do that? Um, that's kind of the uh-oh thing because it does seem like it's just not dropping in the holes. You know, especially when I can just go give it a little push and it falls right in place. Um, maybe the, the lock bar just needs a little bit more strength. Maybe there's something blocking it on the hole. I'm not sure. I'm not sending it back. I like the knife. I do like the knife. So I want the knife. You know, we've talked, I've talked about this before. I don't like getting a knife that I've been waiting for that I finally get and then say, oh man, I have to send it back to get something fixed. I hate doing that. I'd rather just fix it myself if I can, right? Um, it's very, very, very rare that I send a knife in. Um, but I think I'm going to like it. I think this is going to be an easy fix. Hopefully, I'm the only one going to have to deal with it. Probably not. So hopefully, somebody gets something out of this and realizes the same issue when watching my video. But I do like it. I do like it a lot. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep it. And it's a new part of the collection. I'm only going to make it better. So yeah, um, I do love the style of it. Um, I love the ergos. I already tried the clip. The clip works great. Um, Backspacer looks really good. Love the the an the anodizing, the satin finish. A lot of great things about this. Now, this edge will probably give me a little bit of resistance in a cut, but not worried about it. Um, it's not like it's a hard user or anything. It's more of just like a, you know, needy C knife. Break some stuff down, cut some stuff, kind of knife, you know. But there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.